You don't want to take a photo? Let's take a photo. All right. Welcome back to Life and Style. It's all about art today. And on visual arts, we have amazing things going on right here. This is a selfie something. Yeah. You, what, yeah. what is it? Well, it basically is used to stabilize the camera. Well, you can twist it to any angle. Yeah. Any angle you want to. Ah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Footage, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's really. It's all about photography right now. And I've got uh, Alphonse. Yeah. <laughs> I've got Alphonse, right. you know. Yeah. <laughs> I've got Alphonse in studio. Yeah. And Elijah is taking beautiful photos of us. You know, the, the worst thing you can do is take photos of me and not let me see. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't see. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Wow. That looks good. Action pictures. I like them. Thank you so much. You're Welcome, okay. Elijah. Thank you. Yeah. There's so much going on here. Probably I'll just let you introduce yourself before we get into this. Uh, yeah. My name is Elijah Karagu. I do photography for MTR Films. Okay. Okay. I'm Alphonse Wadenya, and I'm basically a cinematographer, and I work under MTR Films. All right. Yeah. I've seen you here before. I don't know if you were trying to get on the show, but you took amazing <laughs> photos of me that time. Yeah. We're going to try and, uh, you know, showcase some of the photos that you took that time. But cinematography and, um, and uh, photography yes. matched together in one company. Yeah. That, for me, having cinematography and having uh, photography in one, that, that's, that's, a, that's a full media house. Well, yes. yeah, it is. There's a lot you can do when you mash it up together yeah. and work together. It, it just makes like good quality content, and mm -hmm. yeah, that's what we do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let me just turn this again. There. All right. That looks really good. It's. It, it won't fall. It won't. It won't fall. So it won't. how do you? You get used to the selfie sticks. Uh. What? Why? What, what? What is this for? I know you stabilize the camera, but. Yeah. Well, you see, sometimes when you're shooting, there's mm -hmm. some angles you'll want to get that you can't get with a standard um, uh, stand. Okay. So this. this this allows you the ability to like to get those funny funny shots you wanna get, but still be stable. Ah, yeah. Okay. So it actually stops the movement. Yeah. You're getting so tired. Yeah. Now you wanna move, yeah. and you, yeah. you you um you do not get the good yeah. quality that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Kiko Vision yes. is part of MTR. Yes. What is it that sets it apart from any other kind of photography. Well, I've seen your work though, but there's something you're telling me that you do after you capture the pictures. Well, most photographers, they use too much filters. Mm. Makes it's, the yeah. picture look a bit odd. You are dark skin, but in this picture, you're light skin. Very light skin. When I meet yeah. you, then yeah. you're something else. You're something I love else. filters. Yeah. <laughs> this is my real color. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I, I look I like. No, yeah. I have no <laughs> objection with filters. Okay. It's now my style. I use shadows and shadows in my pictures. Okay. Like in drawing, like if you're using a pencil, if you want to define a picture, you must show the shadows to get the actual face. Uh. Yeah, now with me, I do the same thing now, but with pictures. Because photography is part of, it's like art. It's mm -hmm. your art, but using a camera. So you use the shadows to make the person look more lively, more clear. Yeah. Absolutely, that's yeah. really, that's something new. I've learned yeah. something that you can use. So the way we have filters, we have shadow filters. No. Yeah, we just play with the <laughs> shadow, the contrast, you just reduce them. Okay. Yeah. All right. This... You know, with this, I don't even need to have a reporter when I go on the field. You don't. Okay, I don't, you don't need someone as cameraman, to do sound man. Nothing. This is this is complete mm -hmm. the way yeah. it is. Yeah. What is this? What what is it called? What can it do? That is a camera, a standard camera, a Canon. It's a Canon, 60D, and this is a boom mic. Yeah. That's a boom mic. That's a boom mic. Mm -hmm. So they're all put in one. So you put the boom mic on top, then you connect it to the camera. Mm -hmm. Then you can record your videos. I prefer Canon for recording videos because it has clear, clear HD. Yeah, it comes in HD. 4K, 4K, whatever. Wow. Resolution. Yeah. Yeah. Resolution. Okay. So that's the best. And with this, you have a revolving screen. Yeah. That's the thing. When you do that, you sound like Tendai. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, it has a revolving screen. Mm -hmm. So you can turn and see. Even if you put it like on the tripod, then yeah. you want to see yourself properly. Yeah. You can see, so you can revolve the screen. Yeah. Yeah, and then it has a built-in flash in case you're in dark, and you're in the darkness. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Can you see that? Yes. To turn it on. There you go. So you use this as the as the MTR. This is what you use. I mean, you've got bigger and 
or are you going small and high quality? We love to use this as the main camera, especially like when we're covering like events, because that's what we do as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. We also cover events like in case you want to re redo your vowels. Okay. We'll be there to cover that. It's just to like enhance the quality as well. And um, yeah, we use it yeah, a lot. Yeah. What kind of cinematography are we talking about? Is there a particular one? Are you into events, yeah. corporate, nature? Yeah. Well, with us, what we do is we try not to limit ourselves to only one thing. Mm -hmm. We are really just broad. We're ready to do anything. And that shows, like, with achievements we have made so far, we do different things. Like, okay. as I was saying, one time we're doing, uh, we're covering Chronix coming to Kenya. Oh, you yeah, did? Yeah, on stage. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was fun. Um, we're covering... Um, we're doing shows as well, like a fitness show we used to do in uh, Boma Hotel. Mm -hmm. We just do not limit ourselves. Like, you're Muslim, you have, you have a madrasa you want to, to be covered, we'll be there. Yeah. What was that? What did you do? <laughs> it went off. Oh, it no, went off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that you don't waste your battery. Yeah. Oh, it can do yeah, that on its it own? Do, yeah, if you're not using it, it will go off by itself. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so you That's... don't have to waste your battery. Okay, can you see the flash now? Oh, we have to turn it on again. <laughs> we have to turn it on again. <laughs> True. Okay. The what is it called? No, it's okay. Oh. Uh, All right. There you go. Turn now. It's on now. I have to remove. Um. Give me a minute. Uh, not a problem. So you also are versatile in the kind of photography that you do, or do you prefer a certain kind, like a studio or a garden, or I just do weddings? I don't discriminate. <laughs> I can do any if you want. But my key point or my key attraction is nature. I like taking outdoor pictures. Okay. Because mostly when you stick in the studio, mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay, but you don't capture the actual nature, yeah. the vision. Because if you take a studio picture, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's all right, it's excellent, you have the lighting, but if you go outside to nature, you have mm -hmm. natural light, the sun. Yeah. yeah. It hits you properly. <laughs> yeah. With all your melanin inside you, you get the energy. So yeah. your face becomes brighter. Yeah. So the that's fresh why air. fresh yeah. air also. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can lie down, you can stand up, you can yeah. jump. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As we wind up on this conversation, yeah. context, where can people get in touch with you? And uh, where can we see these shows that you're doing okay. for the company? Where? Well, first to do with the, the shows, you can primarily see us on uh, YouTube. We have a page on YouTube, so mm -hmm. um, just search mtrfilms.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our page on YouTube will come up, and you'll see everything we've done from old to recent right now. Yeah. Okay. And contacts, um, I guess I can give dials. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Um, 0704 mm -hmm. 305 or 0713-066-701. Absolutely. Yeah. Elijah, Facebook, Kikovisha, Nikowapi. Uh, my page is on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's Elijah underscore Kiko, or you can write Kiko Visual. You'll get my pictures there, everything. Contacts, you can contact me on 07-17-46-20-60. Can you repeat again? It's <laughs> zero seven seventeen forty six twenty sixty. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There you have it. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and for sure you meet some cool stuff. There's mm -hmm. one here that I don't know what you do with it, but it looks like a skater <laughs> board. It's a slide, yeah. It's, do you want to show us how to do it? Maybe you can work it over there. Well, yes. Is it, yeah. Slide. You hold it like so, and I'm focusing okay. on you. Okay, you need to, you mm -hmm. need to. Oh, sorry. You need to turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would have a platform like this. Okay. And like, you're the focus. Yes, I so am the focus. So I would get an angle, like I'd get a pan. Yeah. Oh, so, without moving the camera. Yeah. And it's smooth. It's smoother than doing it with your hands, of oh, course, because yeah. with your hands you'd be shaky, shaky. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So just just make sure that you're steady. Okay. Can you try yeah. it on the floor, or it's just for a surface that's up here? Well, it's, yeah, with this height, yeah. yeah it works okay. best with this height. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that's for covering co uh, corners. But then yeah. it has to be handled manually. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, let me just show you. Yeah. Okay. So if I was focusing on an object like from this view, yeah, uh, it depends. Like, you, you see this is very, very much maneuverable. Mm. So uh, I can get any type of smooth pan I want. So just smooth as that. Good. Yeah. Or like that. All right. Yeah. Ah, so, cool stuff. Yeah. Cool, really, really cool stuff. Thank you so much, Elijah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Alphonse. Yeah.
Well, that has been photography. Now I have to move over, still on visual arts, to creative of the week. And I'm telling you, this is going to blow you away. I, I promised you I'm going to go with Russian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tried to get your other name and I couldn't. And I, so you said Russian is okay? Yes, Russian. Just okay. say the other names that it's Kakaini Kami, Fikango, Donashindo, Kuisema. Charlemagne. Even after hearing it for five, six, seven times, <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go with Russian. Why Russian in replacement for your other name? Uh, okay, over the years, I've had a lot of nicknames. You've I'm had a, a lot of nicknames? Yes, you know, I'm a very social person. Uh -huh. So um, I use all my nicknames so that I can know. Uh, you know, like, okay, let me explain something. Um, you know, when uh, someone calls you and is like, uh, please remind me your name. Mwikali. Mwikali. Yes. And it's like, Mwikali, do you remember me? And you're like, ah, ah, it's not. Uh. No. So if you say, <laughs> so if you say Russian, I know exactly where you knew me from. If you say me grandson, you know exactly where you knew me from. If you say Charlemagne, I know, I know where you knew, me from. where you knew me from. Yeah, so okay. that's. Uh, so Russian it is. Yes. Russian. Yes. That's the one of your life and style. Russian. <laughs> Russian. Okay. You do an amazing kind of art. It's actually yes. a movement. Yeah. Realism. And we were talking about it earlier. Hyperrealism. No, no, no. Hyperrealism. Yes. So hyperrealism is like bigger than the kawaii real, but it's still a movement. Yes, it's a, it's it's a new movement. It's a new movement. Yeah. Out of realism which was there yes. from the 17th century. Yes. Yes. So t talk about, well, how did you even get into, this is, I am wowed <laughs> by your art. <laughs> when did you begin and why hyperrealism? Okay, I come from a family of uh, uh, artists in their own respect. Uh, so my father taught my, uh, my brother <laughs> how to draw, but he's not an artist. So he used to draw these 3D cars, okay. things you do. Yeah, so uh, my brother was interested in art, so he pursued it. Then as I was growing up, I was looking up to him. Mm. So I was like, ah, one day I'll do this good. So I was trying, you know, the first times, it's, uh, it's usually very hard. So I was like, ah, how can I do this? So I remember one time I stole his book and went to this school <laughs> and I said, this is my art. <laughs> Watch people, you know, yeah, it, it brings a lot off. of your attention. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the attention is very good. So okay. I was like, ah, oh, yes, who's your master? I can do this. <laughs> so uh, from there, you know, you have to prove that you can do that yes. so, in school. So I just worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. And uh, I was in highway, yeah, in Form 1 right now. So when I was in highway, uh, like, I used to get a lot of, uh, like, attention. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just okay. drawing for the sake, mm -hmm. but oh, you just see people passing and like, oh, wow, wow. So when I was in, around in Form 4, there's this guy, his, his name loves me, but she was like, oh my God, you guys, could you even I can't let this guy is drawing a straight line <laughs> using free hands. So that's what, that was my turning point. Then uh, uh, there's this other guy called Clive. Mm -hmm. So he was the one who was uh, constantly motivating me. I was like, ah, don't leave art. You know, it's not, you know, there's nature and nature. Yes. So for my brother, it's art is, is nature to nature. him. For me, it's nature. Okay. I just want to. Because uh, it wasn't yeah. in you, you practice. Yeah, you just practice, practice, this practice. Good. To be this this so, almost mm -hmm. looks like a photo, you know, like a camera photo. Yes. Why are you saying yes, like you're not wowed? <laughs> well, I'm <it's> used <laughs> This looks like, you know, like a photo taken out of a camera. Yeah. How do you attain that? How long does it even take you to get such fine detail? And just to make it clear, whatever it is that you're doing is all done using a pencil. Yes, and compressed charcoal. And yes, and charcoal. Yeah. How long does it take you? Well, it depends, but let's say if I was to do it continuously, it uh -huh. would take around 72 hours. 72 hours. But since you cannot do it continuously, it's, mm -hmm. it's very exhausting. Mm -hmm. You stretch the 72 hours into maybe a month or two. Because, oh, you know, okay. there are sometimes you just wake up as an artist. And you don't feel You want like... to draw a, a lion, but all of a sudden it comes out as a cat. And you're like, ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> so. Why hyper-realism? Uh, there are not so many. I've not seen a hyperrealist in have Kenya. Seen a realist. Yes. I have seen a realist. A realist. But I've not seen a hyperrealist as well. 
That was the actually, first. yeah. So that was what motivated me to go into it. And mm -hmm. I also chose uh, pencil because, you know, when you, when you start drawing, uh, you start with pencil. You don't it's start with the paints and whatever mm -hmm. you. So this is just to show, like, the, the upcoming artists that uh, if you work hard enough on it, you can also be here. Wow, so charcoal. Motivation behind the pieces that you do? It's my uh, biggest motivation is uh, science. So Science? Yes. It's about the concept of reality. Also, what is reality? Like, for example, uh, okay, one would say that something real is what you can see, what you can feel, and whatever you. So <gasps> what I'm doing is I'm simulating reality. So, you know, uh, if, you are to, if you are to ask uh, someone, uh, let's say we took all, all of your senses and you remained with only one. Which one would you prefer? If you took all of my senses? Yes. And then I had to just choose, choose one, one out of them? Yes. I'd like to have my sight. Exactly. Oh, that's what you wanted to hear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I couldn't I tell you. I lose my yeah. sight, you know. Yeah. So you heavily rely on your sight to tell you what's real and what's not. Yeah. So... I'm simulating reality. So if you look at this, uh, at first glance, you'll say it's a photo. Yes. But up close, like when I you're about did this, this close, I just, yeah, let's I do this. this. Like, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> pencil. <laughs> so that's when you notice it's a, it's a, it's a drawing and not a photo. Mm -hmm. So that is actually proof that you cannot actually rely on your eyesight to determine what's real and what's not. As far as you know, you can be living in a simulated reality. It's true. Yeah. I'm imagining you're using, you're using, whoa, using, you're <laughs> using <laughs> different kinds of pencils in terms yes. of the, uh, the darkness, the lightness. But looking at that glass, yes. how do you achieve the glass-like, you know, like proper glass-like look with a pencil? Okay, uh, this takes more than just talent. It takes a lot. Uh, you have to be smart. Like, for example, you know those... You know, for example, this lighting, yeah? yeah. You cannot just put some uh, lights there and just... No. The, Malika, this the, place. Very professional. Yeah, you have to yes. know the, the angles and whatever. You have to, you have to know the concepts of, right, of light. So mm. that's what... You just know the concept of light. Can I, can I take a guess? Yes. Probably that part where we have the reflection. Yes. You didn't have a pencil on it. Yes. That's, that was the original paper. That's the original paper. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> 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 because I've been trying, I've been looking at it and thinking, how, uh, how did he do that with a pencil? That's really good. That's actually why I leave it raw. This is just raw, uh, uh, raw drawing. What, it's what not do you mean preserved. Huh? Okay, when you're using a charcoal and pencils, you have what you call a fixative spray. So you just spray on it, then uh, you cannot. I can actually, do this. You can do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's basically proof. And uh, I don't even my work. You don't what? I don't even my work. When you're drawing, mm -hmm. you tend to even your work when you're doing like this. I don't know. You, uh, how should I explain it? Even in your work. I've seen, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll try. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen uh, a guy use uh, tissue. Exactly. To yes. See, I'm getting smudge. better. At yeah. This. Okay. So yeah. Smudge. So you don't you don't smudge. Yeah. If I smudge it, you'll not tell if it's a. I'll not have proof that this is not a photo and this is not a. This is no, no. This is not a drawing, but a photo. Yeah. So because I rely on people who have not seen it, like you, come yeah. and do like this. You know, people like touch, like touching yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you just. How's the market like for hyperrealism? It's good. Huh? Mm -hmm. People are blown away. It's actually better, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's better than abstract and whatever you because uh, it's a, uh, you know, it's something new, and uh, it tends to blow you away. Half of the, or not even half, I think all of the people I've met, they tend to get my number. So that's, that's a good thing. Yes. Getting connection is, yes. is a good thing, yeah, yeah. Com as compared to the whatever. So uh, it's a good market, but you know, art in general is not appreciated in, enough. Enough. Yeah. It is appreciated. Yes. It is appreciated, not enough. Is it the, what is the problem? Is it the visibility or is it the interest? Is it our culture? Where would you say is... Um, the place at which the gap comes in? I would say is uh, the financial uh, bit because uh, not everyone can afford art. Art is very expensive. Mm. So uh, that's why I'm sticking to pencil so that my, my, uh, 
my pricing, down. Yeah, my price, uh, my pricing comes down okay. to the ordinary person. How much is a portrait like that one? <laughs> That's a, you know, he's very old and wrinkled. Yes. But it looks so good, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like him. That's why that's why my best. It's, he's <laughs> old and wrinkled, but he still looks so so good. Yeah. How how much would that would a, would a, would, a, would a portrait like that one go for? Yeah, it depends. Range. <laughs> yeah. Range. It depends on the complexity. Okay. And the size. You know, some pictures are way too complex, yeah. Yeah. Than others. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, uh, this one. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the, I don't know if you can move closer, you'll see the, the boxer. Yeah? It's uh, it's very detailed. The what? I don't know how to call this. Oh, the the. <laughs> that the, that box thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's called um. <laughs> The one that has the Santuris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So because of that complexity, mm -hmm. uh, it will be around from seven to around ten without the frame. Without the frame. Yeah. Okay. Because it's a bit complex. Yes. Yeah, There's so complex. many details into it and all have to be so fine. Yes. Okay. Now people out there I'm sure are wild like I am. Mm -hmm. How can they get in touch with you? Are you on social media? Yes, I'm on Instagram. But I, 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 actually, I'll change that name because Charlemagne is proving difficult for most. Huh? Can you spell it? C H A R L E M A G N E. I got lost at R. <laughs> We're yeah. going to make sure that we put something that, that yeah. just, you know. Yeah, Charlemagne the artist. And we'll have, we'll have, we'll tag you on our Instagram pages as KTN Life and as Ghost Style on Twitter. Uh, yes, Charlemagne254. We'll still tag him <laughs> as well. <laughs> on Twitter, there's a KTN Live <laughs> underscore style. On Facebook, are you on Facebook? Yeah. Still Charlemagne. Yeah, but mm, I'm not on Facebook uh, okay. like officially. Yeah. Officially, yeah. no. So Instagram and Twitter, yes. Charlemagne254. Yes. 254. But Instagram is Charlemagne the artist. Shelling the artist yes. on Instagram. Yes. Number? Uh, 0714 776 556. Okay. Mentoring anyone? Do, are, you, are you open to teaching someone the way you were taught? See the way I'm putting you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to YouTube University. You went so. to YouTube? <laughs> yes. Yego ni wengi. I've come to realize <laughs> Yego there's so many. Yeah. Uh, so YouTube, that's how you started. Yes. But are you open to teach someone? Mentor uh, someone? Right now, not yet. Not, not yet. right now. Okay, to put in Yekanga PV. Maybe by the end of... Uh, Next to year? 2018, because I'm working on a project okay. next year. So, All right. Yeah. Okay. So solely, this is this is it for you? Or do you have another job that you do? Okay. You're, uh, I'm, I'm a student. You're a student? Yes. Okay. So um, I'm a tourism student. I'm doing tourism management at Moi University. Okay. Yeah. So a low class mate, school mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much this this is beautiful and if you really want this then you know we have a number yes and we have the page do you want to say that number again uh the phone number yes uh, 0714 776 556 absolutely asante sana this is so beautiful i'll be <laughs> i'll be stalking you after this on Instagram <laughs> to see what else you have to offer so Sawa, thank you so much that's been the visual arts creative of the week our year only had photography remember to keep the conversation going ktn life and style on facebook ktn life underscore style on twitter and instagram sms is 22840 and you've got something to showcase Please let us know. The WhatsApp number is 0700574747. We're all about encouraging each other and putting, showcasing what it is that we have. We're taking a very short commercial break when we come back. It's all about the spoken act. And we're having a face of Karma Killer Tuesday. We have two amazing artists going head to head on spoken word. Don't go too far, we'll be right back. Wantupatia sida, kidogo, tap tap, gavai pewe tiba. Na kama asanti, tunawaachia akiba za resource. The real source ni Afrika atuna kitu. 
It was good when I was afflicted, when my wings were clipped, my spirit man fought my flesh, they became conflicted. This inner fight had me in a bind when I was tried, pressed in a vice. I was right in the middle of the valley of the shadow of death that demanded from me a price. But blessed are the poor in spirit, for such is the kingdom. Because the poor say I'm rich, Christ gave the provision.